guys what's going on welcome back to the channel if you're new here hi how are you my name is Angela and I'm going to be making something I haven't made before ever in my life um, on this channel and I'm gonna make it for my daughter it was sent to me by all stitch it's like a I think it's a unicorn I think it's been like a month I haven't opened the box yet you guys know I'm busy I haven't opened the box and I wanted obviously unbox it and show you guys what it looks like so we're gonna be making a little unicorn I don't know if it's called a cubby. I don't know the exact one. It's like a little stuffed animal where you put like on the chest. You put um, age names. It's like a birth announcement type of uh, stuffed animal type thing. But Roman, it's a unicorn. So no, I think it's a unicorn. If it's not, I'm going to laugh. But um, no for Roman and um, Riley. So I'm just going to put her name on it. Now, like I said, they're usually used for like the, the baby's name, their weight, the day they're born, stuff like that. But you can technically use it for whatever you want. I'm looking for the box now. Also, while I'm on the topic, you can purchase this empowered shirt from AngelaJasmina.com. I'll be having more merch coming soon. Also, this hat as well from AngelaJasmina.com. Most things that you see me wearing on my videos are things I've made, and they will be available at AngelaJasmina.com. So let me find this box real quick. Ugh, it's pretty light. It's lighter than I thought. Um... I was looking for my other shirt, but I couldn't find it. I made a new shirt called Basic Witch, and I think it's super cute, but I misplaced it. Or I can put it somewhere that I just can't see because I'm short. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and open this box so we can see what it looks like. All right, I don't have any other scissors around me, so we're going to use my super special applique scissors. <sighs> These scissors suck for opening this. Also, while I'm on the topic, um, I did speak to All Stitch. Um, they will be adding most of the colors that I do use because in my last video about my, my Madeira thread, I mentioned that they don't have all the colors I use. So I went ahead and sent them the colors I use. So they'll try to stock those regularly. So then, yes, I'll be ordering all my thread from All Stitch. A lot of you guys asked why I order it from Madeira Mart, which is Madeira's website. That's the name, the brand of the thread. And like I said, it's just because All Stitch is in the same state as me, so I get my stuff usually next day. Now, if there was no place in Maryland for me to get thread, I would probably use Madeira's website. Like I said, it's just because it's quicker. So, oh man, it's more than one. Oh, I can make a Roman one. Here. This is what it looks like. I'll make this for Roman and put Roman's name on this one. Oh my god, I could surprise them because they have no idea. So, also just sent me this one and this one. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out the packaging. Also, a little tutu, tutu for the unicorn, and some y'all already know my all stitch classic stabilizer i use this all the time so thank you all stitch for sending that that was so nice of you guys um okay so let me show you guys out of the packaging i didn't know there was two This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Alright, now let's see the boiler. Mm. Now I'm trying to think. I guess I'll do blue. I wasn't planning on making two, but hey. This is so cute. And they're super soft, guys. Alright, so I do know that they have the uh, zipper on the booty. And you take this out, it's the stuffing. That way you can just hoop it. You put the hoop in and just hoop it right here. I'm going to be using the Mighty Hoops, you guys know. I swear by Mighty Hoops. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave these out. I'm going to put, put them back in. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put their names on it. Just simple. Um, I'll do this one in a pink. My 1921 pink and this one. Ooh, what color? I was going to do normal blue. Now I'm thinking red. No, I'm just going to do... I'm going to do blue. Royal blue. Let's go to my handy dandy Madeira color thingy. I kind of like this blue though. But this is like turquoise. Would this look right? Let's see. 
Let's see. Ooh. I think that'll look okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do this blue and then I'm gonna use my normal Madeira pink, which is on every single one of my machines, so I'll use that on there. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a font on the computer for both of them and then put it on the machine and go ahead and make it. I'm trying to hurry up because the kids wanna go outside. And I got my Dunkin'. I'm not sponsored, by the way. Someone asked me. They said, are you sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts? No. But if you guys want to help me get sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts, I would appreciate it. But I'm, I'm ways away from that. Maybe, maybe, hopefully, maybe by the time I'm 30, I'll be sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. 30. Let's see. Let's see. Also, guys, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me more than you guys know. YouTube therefore knows, oh, people like her videos. Let me just share them with more people. So if you guys can please give my videos a thumbs up every time you watch, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you hit the subscribe button, it looks like that. There's a little bell notification next to it. You click that. And you'll usually be notified every single time I upload a video if I go live or, I don't know, anything. So yeah, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 100,000 and I cannot wait. I think we're like at 89 and a half right now. I think maybe it's 88 no 89 I think we're at 89.5 K so almost to 100 and we'll of course be doing a giveaway at 100 so all right let's start these little bears I believe I'm gonna use the 5x5 five five mighty hoop um, and if you don't have a um, a multi-needle the 4x4 four four hoops that most machines have would fit on here perfectly fine as well um, but again, I'm Mighty Hoop lovers, so I'm using Mighty Hoop. Also, I'm just going to put them, just their names. I think it would be cute. Um, all right, let me go ahead and start this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. So I have the names already made on my embroidery machine. And I'm going to use the 5-inch Mighty Hoops. Um, they're 5.5-inch by 5.5-inch Mighty Hoops, actually. Let me not pinch my fingers. Um, we have some water soluble stabilizer. This one is the Madeira brand. And um, I'm gonna use, I'm still gonna use Cutaway. Um, and I'm using it because it's gonna be on the inside anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna shove this back inside. So Cutaway is just the most uh, word I'm thinking durable. I don't know the word. I think you know what I mean. Um, I have fuzz everywhere, I have stuffing. <laughs> so. All right, I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and get these hooped up. And yeah, start with the boy one. I just feel like it just looks so evil. So I'm going to do it this way. Like he's going to go in the machine like this. And then he's going to be like this. <laughs> All right. Don't let your kids see you embroider these because they'll probably have nightmares, guys. Okay? And also, don't put your phone near your mighty hoop like I just did because, you know, it could break your whole phone. All right. So... You get a piece of stabilizer and don't put your phone near your mighty hoop, Angelo. Alright, so I have this and it's way too big because here's the hoop and here's this piece. It's just way too much. So I'm going to cut some off with the scissors that I don't have over here. Okay, so I have my scissors. I'm just going to cut just a little bit. It's just easier to put in like hooping stuff when the stabilizer isn't massive. Um, oh, there's an extra piece of stuffing in the head. <laughs> oh my god, I took his brains out. Oh my gosh.
Wow, it's very hard to tell if they're straight, but from looking... <laughs> this looks like torture. Looking at Mr. Uh, Mr. Bunny over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't... I, oh my god, that's funny. Alright, well, I just hooped it, so it looks pretty straight. The hoop pretty much takes up the entire uh, embroidery buddy. Like, it's literally... The perfect size if it was any bigger it wouldn't even work so that's what it looks like um and i'm not gonna i wasn't i'm not gonna hook the stabilizer i'm just going to float it underneath um and we'll see how that works hopefully it works otherwise boo and um okay so i have the water soluble stabilizer and uh, this is my first time making one just, just put, oh, I just sat on my laptop, just putting it out there. Um, so we'll see how this comes, turns out. I'm not a pro. I'm just me. I was curious when, I've had this for almost two months and I've never used it. It smells like a shower curtain. It smells like, it smells like Elmer's glue. Alright. Just cut this off. All right, so I'm just gonna put a piece over the top. That's what it looks like. It looks like saran wrap. It feels like, uh, what's it called? It feels like a shower, like a thin shower curtain, a curtain liner. All right, so I'm gonna put it just like this into the machine, but obviously I'm putting it in this way because I don't want the head in the front. I want the head in the back, so. I'm gonna throw it on the machine. Throw it on the first machine. Coming along, coming along, and we're gonna send it <laughs> to surgery. All right, let's make sure nothing is underneath. All right, so Mr. is going under surgery, so he's ready. Gotta prep the other patient for surgery, guys. <laughs> ah, all right, let me take her. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm having too much fun. This is this is funny. All right, now let's put the hoop inside, and the hoop has to be warning down because it's going upside down. All right, so it has to go the opposite way of how I normally hoop. Because it going, it's going in the machine upside down. Thank you to whoever that was for the sale. Guys, if these are crooked, don't hate me. It's okay. They're just for my kids. If this was for a customer, I'd care a little bit more. Well, not, not a little bit. A lot more. But it's for the kids. They won't notice if it's crooked. All right. Warning. Okay, it's hooped as well. Let me see, is this one crooked? It's so hard to tell if these things are crooked. It's not like a shirt, but I want to say it's crooked because the other one was like his face line right here was lined up right with the middle of the hoop. So I'm just going to say it was crooked. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> oh my goodness alright oh there we go yep you can see like right here it's a lot better and as you guys know I always like to tighten my stuff on my hoops pull it a little bit to get the little wrinkles out and this is a stuffed animal so it's not the end of the world because there will be stuffing going into it to puff it back out but We'll see. This isn't, like I said, this is my first time making it, so. It is. I just realized I also didn't put stabilizer in the other one. So she's going on the surgery table and operating room two. Alright. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the stabilizer in both. I need two hands for that. Sorry. 
can we pretend that airplanes and the nut this is oh yeah i forgot i need this too though this is the water soluble stabilizer and what this does is because the stuffed animals have like hair fur um normally if you just sit straight on that you'll lose some of the stitching in the fur um so like the fur fibers come up and it doesn't look as clean but this you're stitching on top of this so to come out really clean you just pull it off after and then if you spray water it'll get rid of the rest of the pieces so let me put this on top of here That's what's up in there, and now they need the stabilizer. Stabilize, stabilization. Okay, let's just cut a piece. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. If I kept you entertained today with in surgery room one and two. Stabilizer, it's just underneath floating. Underneath, I guess it doesn't make sense. <sighs> okay, both of the babies are set up. Oh, my head keeps going in my mouth. I'm gonna drink some <clears throat> coffee. Dunkin' Donuts, sponsor me, please. I swear, you won't regret it. Okay, so I don't show this, this side of the Melco operating system much, but they have, this is like the simple side, the easier side. So I'm going to go ahead and open the design here. I think it's E drive. Alright, and I am looking for Riley. Riley, Riley, Riley. Open. There it is. It pops up just like that. Nice and pink. Okay, so it is pink. That's the color I want it. But let's say we don't want it pink. We want to change the color. Then we would just click on here. And you see it selects nine. I would, let's say we want it green. Then I would just click green. It'll change the color just like that. But I do want it to be pink. So I'm going to switch it back. And I'm going to click OK. It tells you it's going to be five minutes to stitch out. And right here, I have two machines. That's what it's telling me. Let me click X out of there. So this is machine one, machine two. Um, this one is this one. <laughs> so actually, <laughs> um, so I did do it right. So two is Riley. And then one, let's go ahead and open Roman up. Click the little thingamabobber right here, the folder. And then look for Roman. Roman, where are you? Alright, so here is Romy Rome. And obviously I don't want it to be that color. I want him to be this color right here. So let me click on the step. And it highlights it in black, but I want it to be this color. And then I'm gonna click the check mark. So then I gotta make sure I choose the right hoop. And this is the five and a half inch hoop. So I'm gonna go over here and find the magnetic. Okay, here. It, oh, right here, the Mighty Hoops. And then I have to choose the 5.5. Let's see. Oh, I found it. Here it is. 5.5. And then click OK. So, uh, Roman's name is too big. So, I'm going to have to open Roman's name in Design Shop and make it smaller. All right. I need two hands for this. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to shift and drag. So I made it smaller. I should have showed you. Then I put file, machine, load design, and I'm loading it on Unicorn because that is the name of my first machine. So then it's here, and now it fits in the hoop. It's a dash line again. All right, so let's make sure everything is correct. So it's going to stitch out on 13. Make sure it's the correct one. Yep, this blue like we chose, 13. All right, and let's go back to, uh, well, I'll do a trace on this one real quick. 
Just do a trace. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Did not flip the design. Mm, see, I almost made it up, upside down. All right, so I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna rotate the design 180 degrees. All right, perfect. All right, so that is set up correct. Click the check mark. All right, and we already did the trace, so he could technically start, but I'm gonna start him at the same time. Um, and then I'm probably going to increase, because this, this is the tension piece, so they're active feed. So right now a 6 is for my shirts, the AJ Blinks, but obviously this is thicker than a shirt. So I'm going to move it up to 8. Alright, and it's going 900 stitches per minute, 3 minutes is what it says it'll take. But I want to click on the next one, which is Riley, and now that I remember, I'm going to want to, one, switch the hoop to the five and a half inch hoop. All right, and then I need to, oh, her name's too big too. So <laughs> that's, that's my fault. So let me open it real quick. Where is her name? Y'all are like, it's right there. All right, so I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna need an to use two hands again because I have to shift hold. Alright. File machine load design. And we need to flip the design. Perfecto. And then Oh, I clicked it twice. Dang it. Dang it, Angela. Alright. Alright, so let's do a trace on this one, too. Alright, so both are ready to start. And I have hair in my face. Ugh. Alright, so both are ready to start. A little nervous. Riley's name is so much bigger because I guess her name is less R O M A N. They both have five letters, but I guess her font is cursive, so whatever. All right. So they are both ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit start. comments if I did it wrong but hey I still I think you just rip it so I think it'll be fine if not hey at least you guys will tell me and I'll learn because the Roman looks like it's coming out pretty good and the, uh, and again these are the embroidery buddies these little stuffed animals from allstitch.com so I'll link them down in the description for you guys Gifts. Oh, man. Go 
home is pretty much done. Take Roman off. So here we are. Just gonna pull it off. And throw it in the what it looks like there's still a few pieces of water soluble like right here and my hair's in the way so I'll pull this off and it probably helps to have like a little maybe a little water spray bottle so you can spray it all right so it's all gone and now let's let's put his head back in Right, he has head back and I forgot let me cut off the stabilizer oh I don't really think it matters but ow I just cut my hand Put his body back. Here he is. It's crooked. No. Okay, so here's Roman. And I think Riley's is done. All right, let's take the unicorn off. Let's rip this thing. Here's Riley so far. Let's put the head back in. Ooh. Ooh, girl, put your head in. Ooh. 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 All right, she got her noggin back. Now let's put your body back. Definitely, I put her body in wrong, guys. Look at her. <laughs> okay, that's the wrong way. Let's try this. Let's try turning it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Which way does this go? Which way does it go? That's the only thing I'm gonna keep trying to get it in the right way, I guess. All right, that looks better. Ooh, Riley's came out straight. Roman, not so much. Alright. Here's Riley. She's gonna love this. We should surprise her in the video. I'm gonna take this upstairs. Let me still more water soluble. That is so cute. And again, the water soluble comes off um, 
when you wash it or when it's wet. Roman turned out crooked, man. Maybe I need to fix the way I put his body in. Let me try fixing his body. <laughs> it's not me. It's the body. Let's try. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no, it's better now. See, it wasn't me. No, it's the, it looks it looks so crooked on here. In person, it doesn't look that crooked. All right, so here's, so Roman's not as crooked anymore. <laughs> and here's Riley. Oh my God, they are so cute, guys. Should we go surprise them now? I think so. Okay, let's go surprise them. Oh, let's go surprise them. Let's take my phone. Oh, but Riley, I forgot, hers has clothes. Riley's has clothes, Riley's, Riley's has clothes. Tutu. I guess this horn is for her bow. Oh, oh my God, that is so cute. All right, girl, I gotta put this on you. <laughs> I feel like a child again, dressing up my my animal. There she is. I gotta take my coffee with me. Oh, I gotta turn my machines off. Mm. Alright, let's go. Finish my coffee before I get all the way upstairs. Riley's got a little wet. Let's go see what they're doing. Who's here? So close your eyes. I have a surprise. Go in your room and close your eyes. Go in your room and close your eyes. I'm coming. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. I'm coming in. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Come sit, come sit right here. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, okay. Ready? You ready for your surprise? Hold on, hold on, don't look. A tutu came up. I heard. Hey, okay, go ahead, look. What do you think? Look, what does it say? Pull it down, sorry. Pull it down. What does that say? It does say Riley. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. What do you say? Like what? Uh, it's my, my coffee. I have my coffee cup. What do you say? I made it for you. It come off. Yeah, the tutu comes off. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now Roman got one too. Let's see. I know that's a bunny. Beep. Roman, Roman, look. Look, do you like it? The, oh, bechitos, it's sucio. Oh, you like it. Oh, don't fall off the bed. All right, you guys want to close? Mine? You don't have one. <laughs> well, you guys want to close the video out? Ready? Say thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Roman. <laughs> Say thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Now you say bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. bye. He's going to go. Psh, psh. <laughs> Romy, say bye. Say bye. <laughs>